PRA provides an academically rigorous education because we've thought really carefully about the curriculum that we've chosen and the way that we've um, intentionally laid out the so scope and sequence for K-12. Curriculum and courses and experts in terms of staff. So if we have students that are accelerated in math and they can have access to then high school level math classes while they're in middle school or if they're in elementary school to the middle school pieces. Same thing for world language or for technology. On top of that, it's that character element. So we're constantly pushing good character and kindness throughout the school. And I push that on my students a lot. So if they're kind, you're gonna go places. So if they have that academic piece and that kind piece, and they carry that through K-12, then they're gonna have success. I think being part of our small school is really important because you feel known and cared for. And so teachers do a really excellent job here of building relationships with students. Yeah, I mean, that community is just so helpful um, in terms of, I feel like, you know, there's not really anybody in this building, you know, that isn't supportive, that isn't there for you. You know, every, every student who's here, you know, maybe you don't know them personally, you might not know their name, but you know who they are. You know, you're not just lost in, you know, a massive crowd of 4,000 people. Prospect Ridge Academy, we have um, some incredible academic classes our students can take and electives and everything else, but being um, a successful student and actually being successful in college and in life um, is more than just the courses and the classes that we take and, and the experiences and learning doesn't just stop in the classroom. I have five kids here at PRA, well, I, one graduated, but the extracurricular activities that they participated in is baseball, ocean science bowl, science olympiad, the plays, the musicals. Um, Robotics was a big one. As we go up to the high school, um, every year we have multiple international trips um, that our staff lead for our students. Every senior does a senior leadership capstone where they spend time working with a mentor and intern out in the community, as an intern out in the community um, in a field that they're interested in. My favorite learning project was capstone. It wasn't necessarily like learning, but it was a good learning experience when we had to go out into an actual work field and learn something new and scary, but it helped me find my way. When we opened the school, character and service education were a really important part of what we wanted to set out to help students do, because it's not just about going through and doing acts of service and, you know, meeting these character traits. Um, it's really about embodying them and showing them throughout your day-to-day -day interactions with peers. And so when we do a service project, we really take it on and partner with the organization for the entire year. It's not just a one and done. It's something that kids really take on and they have a heart for. Being in that community, you know, really helps people to kind of branch out and to, you know, not only exhibit, you know, character traits in that community, but also to really grow and become, you know, leaders and, you know, help to understand what being like an active participant, not only in this community, but in the broader community means. And it's more than just actually preparing students for access to college. Um, our goal is not to prepare kids only to get into college. Our goal is to make sure we prepare kids to not only get into college, but once they're there, then to be incredibly successful and prepared to not just actually start college but complete college and thrive. 